What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing some tie-dye shirts with bleach and with actual dye. I actually went to Walmart on Sunday and I bought some groceries and I was like I might as well buy some stuff to do and I saw a lot of people doing like tie-dye. The shirt I'm wearing I actually made yesterday. I was like I might as well fuck shit up now before I actually do a YouTube video. This is what the back looks like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified whenever I post. So all these shirts I got from Walmart, they're under $3. And I got some for Delilah as well because I want her to have matching ones with me. So this one's for Delilah as well. And then this one was for me. I got it in the girl section. And you'll also need tie dye. Um, I got this at Walmart and it's actually uh, under two dollars. If you guys don't want to use scissors, you can use this little fabric cutter. It is ten dollars So if you have scissors and you're good with scissors then go ahead and use that and then I also put uh, Clorox into this um, bottle. I used a yellow dye Yesterday as well But what I did was I rinsed it out really good and then this is a yellow tie-dye that I did um, I feel like it needed a little bit more yellow but then again Yellow and white is not really a good combination, but the only reason why I grabbed yellow is because it was the only one left. They only had pink and yellow. So that's what I went with. I'm gonna start with the black one because I don't have a lot of rubber bands because Walmart ran out. So I'm gonna do the black one. And this one's for Delilah, so it's really tiny. And this top that I have on, you can also wear as a tube top. And I'm gonna show you guys later how um, it looks. So what you want to do is just scrunch up randomly. There's different ways you can do it, but I just scrunch up randomly. And what I'm going to do is um, add a rubber band. I'm probably only gonna do three for this one because it's so tiny. I feel like if you add more, um, it's not gonna, uh, like the Clorox isn't gonna go through as easy. So for the shirt I'm wearing, I actually had to repeat the process because I felt like it didn't have a lot of um, stains in it, like I thought it would. Like it came out like this and I was like, I need to add more. Maybe there's an easier way to do it, but that's how I did it. So after you, Put your rubber bands in. Um, I would suggest you either go to um, your bathtub or your sink and, and so you can pour in the bleach. So all you have to do is start pouring the Clorox wherever you'd like. Um, I kind of just pour, pour it all over just because um, I like the effect that it gives when you pour all over. And I actually already started pouring, but I thought my freaking camera was uh, recording, but it wasn't. But anyways, so you guys can see that I pretty much soaked it. And I'm gonna let it sit for like about 20 to 30 minutes and come back. Okay guys, now I'm gonna do the actual color dye. Um, it's a fuchsia color, but I actually want more of a light pink color. So I'm gonna see if I can take a little bit of powder out so then I can use some for Delilah and some for me and see if like taking powder out makes it a little lighter. Um, so here's my white t-shirt. And what I'm gonna do is scrunch up the um, t-shirt. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And just kind of scrunch it up randomly. Then add your rubber bands. I'm going to add about five rubber bands to this one. So with the tie-dye, um, it is a fuchsia color and I want it to be a little lighter like I mentioned. So what I did was take out a little bit of powder and then what you do next is fill it up with water. Okay, so I filled it up with water. We'll see how it turns out. I'm actually going to do this process inside a plastic bag so I won't make a mess. Make sure that you guys keep it wrapped for 6 to 8 hours. You can. I'm going to use a plastic bag since I already have it here. 
but you can also use ceramic wrap, whatever works best for you guys. So I'm gonna start actually putting the dye on here. And this is how I'm doing it. It still looks a little dark, but it's okay. I'm just doing it randomly, guys. Make sure if you guys are using bags to like triple the bags because you don't want to make a big ass mess on your table. But um, I'm only doing it on my table because I'm showing you guys or else I would be doing it in the restroom. So this is what it looks like now. Um, also, if you guys don't want highlighter fingers, make sure you guys use um, some gloves. Now that I um, poured enough on here, I feel like it looks like enough. Um, I'm gonna wrap it up and then um, wait six to eight hours. All right, so I have the pink dyed um, shirt sitting and it's wrapped up in a plastic bag and I'm gonna let it sit for six hours. And meanwhile, I'm gonna do Delilah's as well, but I'm not gonna do it on camera. All right, so meanwhile, I let the tie dye sit for a bit. I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna get some stuff done. I have some laundry to fold. Most of it is already folded. I just need to put it away. And then I'm also gonna make some food. So Don has something to eat when he gets home. And Delilah is taking a nap. So when she wakes up, I'll have her say hi to you guys. And her little um, shirt I actually put in the washer already. And I put it in the dryer and I forgot to show you guys what it looks like, but it honestly looks so cool. Like when it was soaked in the uh, bleach, I thought it didn't work because it wasn't changing colors, but I guess every fabric is different. Uh, this one changed colors right away, but the one um, I did for Delilah, hers didn't look like anything was happening. So I thought I fucked up, but it actually looks really cool. So I'm gonna show you guys once that's out of the dryer. We'll go from there, so we'll just wait and see what happens with the tie dyes after I put them in the washer and dryer and then I'll let you guys know how they turn out and then me and Delilah will wear them so we can look cute together and show you guys how we look. I'm gonna feed Miss Delilah over here. Say hi. Say hi. You gonna say hi? She only says hi whenever she wants to so we're just gonna go ahead and feed her. She is eating green beans today which is not really her favorite, but you know, she's gotta eat her greens. Dalila. Mmm. Is it good? Is it good? Here. Mmm. Look at all that messy hair, girl. I usually put her hair up like in a little ponytail and it makes her look extra Asian because look at those eyes guys. She looks Asian and everyone always tells me that. She gets the chinkiness from her dad. Guys, and don't mind my hair, like my hair fell out and it's barely growing back after I had Delilah. So I have so much baby hair and I didn't even do my hair today because ain't nobody got time and I hardly ever get ready, like especially during the week. I'm at home, so why am I going to be over here getting ready? Huh, Delilah? Huh? Okay, so I'll be back in a few hours, and hopefully everything turns out good, and if it doesn't, I'm going to be a little sad, but it's okay. All right, guys, the tie-dye shirts are actually out of the washer and dryer now, and as you can see, Delilah's wearing her little cute tie-dye. Look at her shirt. So cute. So she's matching with mom. Hers came out a little differently though. Say hi, Delilah. No, like Alright, so she's gonna be my helper because she's being cranky. So I'm just gonna sit her next to me. Okay, so this is how the tie dye shirts came out. Delilah's is so cute. Look at it. I wish they had the uh, black tank top in this style, but I had to get a little boy's tank top because they didn't have a baby girl tank top. And this is how mine turned out. Is that funny? The next thing I'm gonna do is trim the my tank top so it could be a crop top. Again, if you don't have this, you can use scissors, but 
I'm gonna use this because I always cut crooked. I get a little nervous cutting like right on the table because it'll probably leave a scratch. So I just use these paper. And what I'm gonna do is um, put this tank top right next to the one I'm gonna cut so I know what size to cut. What I did for this one is I used another crop top that I have and then I measured it and that's how I cut. But since this one's basically the measurement that I want, I'm gonna put this one on top. So now I know this is basically where I need it to be at. So once you have everything aligned, go ahead and make your cut. And there you have it, a cute crop top. And then I told you guys that you guys can also wear it as a tube top, which is cool because you can basically use this as a tube top. Babe, come say hi. Ya su saludar. Okay, I'm actually gonna put them on so you guys can see what they look like as well. So this is what our tank tops look like. Aunt Delilah, show them your tank top. So this is what Delilah's tank top looks like. She's loves to put everything in her mouth, so there she has my lipstick. So that's her tank top. Her just turned out really cool. I like how it has like a gray tone to it, but I feel like the um, tank top used to be gray. That's why it came out like that, and then this one probably used to be like a solid black. Okay, so I'm gonna um, try this on. I'm also gonna put Delilah's tank top on. Um, but first, I actually want to show you guys what the tube top looks for this one because it's super cute. So this is what the tube top looks like. Um, I don't have boobs, so it fits me perfectly fine. But if you're a chichona, then consider yourself blessed. Lord did not give me big boobs because he knew I would not know how to act. But yeah, this is how it looks. This is how it looks from the back. So it's super cute, guys. And so easy to make now i'm going to try on the uh pink dye and then i'm also going to put it on delilah so you guys can see what it looks like on her too okay guys look at how cute delilah's little tie dye tank top is and this is the back and i did get it um a few sizes bigger so i could fit her in the summer so we could match and then this is how my tube top looks it's so cute, you guys. I love it. And it's so cool because you can literally get two things for for one. So, and these usually sell for like about $20. So I highly recommend that you make it yourself. If I wouldn't have bought in this, then I would have spent about $5 for the dye and the shirt. And this one was even cheaper to make. I've seen um, people do it with toilet bowl cleaners or just bleach and I did bleach because I have some at home so if you have some at home it'll be even cheaper so yeah that was it for my tie-dye video I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys make some if you guys like tie-dye this is what other tank top looked up close super cute and what did you think about your tie-dye shirt Delilah huh do you like it you like it yes yeah i think that's a yes thanks for watching i hope you guys liked my video i'll see you guys in my next video